the story of a little girl named Eliza, who travels the world with her parents, Nigel and Mary Ann, as they create their wildlife television show. Joining them are a sister named Debbie, a wild boy called Donnie, and a chimpanzee named Darwin. Eliza was given a special gift from me, on the condition that she must never tell it to another person. Eliza's gift is the power to speak to animals. For I knew that with this gift, someday Eliza might do great things in her life. Since she received her gift, she has helped many animals in trouble and shared in many adventures all over the world. But I will tell you of the time when she thought that she may have failed everyone, including herself. It all started in Africa, when Eliza and her family embarked on an adventure to witness the pilgrimage of thousands of elephants to Tembo Valley during a rare solar eclipse. It was a beautiful day in Africa. Eliza was playing with some cheetah cubs on the Serengeti Plains. Eliza and the cubs ran farther and farther away from the watchful eye of the cheetah cub's mother, Akila. Suddenly, the loud whirring of a poacher's helicopter frightened the cheetahs. Eliza did her best to save them from the poacher's grasp. she had saved the cheetah cubs from the poachers when she realized she was terribly wrong. Out of the helicopter, a poacher climbed down a rope ladder and scooped up a small cub named Pally. Eliza raced after the helicopter and jumped on the bottom rung of the ladder. Debbie and her parents quickly jumped into the comfy to rescue Eliza and the helpless cub. So it 
Debbie and her parents saved Eliza. But they were also very worried that the wild plains of the Serengeti was no place for a 12-year-old girl. So her parents decided to send Eliza off to Mrs. Beatrice's school for ladies in England, where Grandmumsy Thornberry could keep an eye on her. When Eliza told this news to Darwin, he became upset and ran off into the jungle. Soon after, Darwin came upon some cubs hiding in fear. He looked over the edge of a nearby cliff, and he saw poachers who were getting ready to climb up and take the little cubs. Poor Darwin had to think fast and to try and save the cubs, and his own skin as well. especially the headmistress, Mrs. Fairgood. One day, when a food fight broke out in the cafeteria, Darwin was discovered. Mrs. Fairgood took Darwin away, and Eliza was sent off to bed. That night, as Eliza slept, I, Shaman Manyambo, spoke to Eliza in a dream. I told her she must find Darwin and travel back to Africa in order to stop something terrible that was about to happen. Though Eliza did not know what was happening, she now knew that she must find Darwin and leave the school. Late that night, she set out on her mission.
jolly good. You've made it. Having found each other, Eliza told Darwin about her dream and her need to journey back to Africa right away. However, Eliza and Darwin still had to find their way off the school grounds. See you now, kid. That was smashing. You certainly take after your old man. Having arrived back in Africa, Eliza and Darwin headed to the train station and boarded a train headed back to the Serengeti. While on board, Eliza heard the cries of frightened animals. She looked out the window and was appalled to see poachers in a car chasing a herd of rhinos. In a desperate attempt to protect the rhinos, Eliza began grabbing items on the train and tossing them at the poacher's car. She hoped it would slow the poachers down and allow the rhinos to escape.
chasing those rhinos! Hey, we've got to stop those poachers! Stop chasing those rhinos! Hey, we've got to stop those poachers! and get something to toss. Well done! You rescued the rhinos! <laughs> <laughs>